We all might agree on a fact that PixArt is one of the best editing tool out there for Android. And well, it's just not for those filters or some touch-ups. It is lot more than that and that's what we are gonna talk about in this video. I will be showcasing top 10 tips and tricks that you must know about as a PixArt user. So well, what are we waiting for? My name is Ashish, you are watching Guiding Tech, let's get started. The very first tip is the option to add multiple effects to your photos. The app comes loaded with a bunch of cool effects. You can change the entire look of the photo by adding an effect. But did you know that you can enhance the images even further by applying multiple filters? To do so, open the image in PixArt, tap the effects option and apply the first filter of your choice. Then tap on the two small squared shape icon on the top bar, it will be on the right hand side. This will apply the current effect, then again apply another filter of your choice. Once you're happy with your image, tap on the tick icon on the top right hand side corner. And voila, that is how you can add multiple filters on your image. Now moving on, the second trick is the option to change the intensity of these filters. To do so, once you apply the effect, tap on the effect option again and that will be on the icon of that particular filter. Herein, you'll get the option to change the intensity and you can change it as per the lichen depending upon the image you are editing on. Now the third effect is the option to apply these filter on a portion of an image. Now depending upon an image, let's say you want to apply two filters on a superb scenery. Now a part of it needs to be an HDR effect and a part of it needs to be in sepia. So to create a dual effect look, tap on the erase icon on the top after applying the filter. Using this eraser, you can erase the effect from the area where you don't want it to be applied from and then just merge it using the square icon and apply the same technique to the second filter. Now the next trick is the option to apply blur effects to your portraits. Now most of the cameras these days come with this option where you get the dual camera and you can blur out the background. But if your camera is missing on that, the PixArt can help you out. Now mind it. PixArt not only provides you the option to just get the normal blur in the background, but you also get the option of smart blur, radial blur, motion blur and so much more. It also comes with an automated portrait mode that will apply the blur effect to your portrait images and you won't have to like manually select your image from the foreground to replace it from the background. To apply the blur to a portion of an image, tap on the effect option and go to blur mode. Here select blur and the effect will be applied to the entire image. Now remove the blur from the unnecessary areas. Tap the eraser icon on the top and start erasing the blur from the areas you don't want it to be on. Now moving on, the next trick is the option to add colorful border effects. To do so, open the image in PixArt and tap on the effects option. Now here tap on vignette and again tap on the vignette effect option. Here you'll get the option to choose from color boxes and those will be the borders that will be applied to your images. You can also increase or decrease these border sizes depending upon the image that you are editing on. The next trick is the option to add stickers. Now when it comes to stickers, not each and every person has the same choice. You might like a sticker or you might just want a portion of that sticker to be on your photo and that's where PixArt allows you to edit any sticker that you have applied from their database. To do so, simply add a sticker to your photo and then you will get multiple options to edit it. And as I mentioned, you can even remove a portion of the sticker by tapping on the erase icon at the top. Now let's move on to the next tip which is also related to stickers. What if you want to create heart shaped sticker or square shaped sticker? You can do that as well. Open the image and tap on the tool option and there tap on the shape crop. Select your desired shape and tap on the next icon on the top right corner. You can then change the border of the sticker by changing the width and applying different colors. Once you're satisfied with your sticker, just tap on the save button. These stickers will be saved under my sticker option and you can apply them to any image later on as well. 
Moving on, the next cool trick is the option of adding double exposure to your images. Now to get an effect, you first need to add your base or that is called the primary photo and then tap on the add photo option to add the second layer of image. Here select the blending option that goes well with the kind of background that you have on the image. Now it might be uh, the lighten effect or it might be the dissolve effect but you have to choose here and then mix and match on these particular choices. Having done that, use the eraser tool to erase the area that's falling out of the image like if you are doing it on a t-shirt and you don't want it to be outside your t-shirts like from the shoulders yes so that is where the eraser tool can help you and once you are done you just need to tap on the apply button that's about it there are many other options that you can try and there are a lot of other articles that you can check out on the pixart website for these cool effects now moving on the next trick is the option to change the background of an image to get this done, use the free crop option in the tools section and the image will be extracted and saved as my stickers in your my stickers section. Now there is an option here where you can select your portrait directly and it will be extracted using the smart filter technique. Once you have the image under my sticker section, then start fresh and open a new backdrop where you want to apply this sticker or image. Having done that, tap on the sticker option followed by my stickers and select the image that you just recently cut out. Now moving on to the final trick and it is the option to see the original image after so much of editing that you have done. There might be a chance where you want to compare the edited image with the original one and you don't need to open it in the gallery to see what all changes are there that you have made. Just tap and hold on the photo and you will be able to see the original image that you started editing on. So friends, those were some cool tips and tricks for both beginners and advanced PixArt users out there. Now, if you like the video, do give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit that red subscribe button right now. So friends, that's all in this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day.